Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain eviction laws in North Dakota and how to recover your property in six simple steps. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks or physically remove a tenant themselves. So if the renter refuses to leave after violating their lease, you must seek an eviction from the court. The process for simply terminating a lease differs from that of an eviction. Lease terminations require proper notice from the landlord or tenant, and state requirements can be found on our website. Legal reasons for eviction in North Dakota. A landlord only has grounds to evict a tenant for reasons allowable in the state. The first step in the eviction process is to give the lessee a notice to quit. Non-payment of rent and non-compliance. If the tenant is late on rent or is violating their lease, you can serve them a three-day notice to quit. This gives the tenant three days to correct the problem or leave. In other states, there are separate notices for non-compliance and non-payment, but this single notice can be used for both violations. Rent grace period. In North Dakota, there is no rent grace period. Rent is due on the due date. An eviction notice can be served if rent is only one day late. Six steps to legally evicting a tenant in North Dakota. Serve the notice to quit. Choose the form you need and download or fill it out on eforms.com. Landlords cannot serve the notices themselves, so hire a civil process server or your local sheriff to serve the notice to quit. Retain proof of service, which you'll need for court. File eviction papers with the court. If the tenant hasn't mitigated the issue in three days and remains on the property, you can proceed to court, file a complaint and summons in the local district court in the area in which the property is located. The summons will indicate a hearing date and time. Serve the court documents. The tenant now needs to receive the information about the case filed against them, which should also be done by using either a process server or the sheriff's department to serve the complaint and summons on the tenant. Gather additional documents. Once the tenant has been served, you'll need to gather a copy of the eviction notice, the summons, complaint, and proof of service for both. In addition, you'll need to prepare a findings of fact and judgment. These will have to be filed with the court along with the requisite fee. Attend the hearing. The court will set a hearing date where the judge will reach a ruling. If the tenant does not show up or if the judge rules in your favor, the court will issue a judgment which will order the tenant to vacate. Removing the tenant. If the tenant is ordered to leave and they still remain on the property, you may seek a writ of eviction from the court which will allow the sheriff to remove the tenant from the property. Damages. Often the tenant's security deposit does not cover total losses. If damages are not awarded at the hearing, you may be able to recover past due rent and court fees through small claims court. Now you can get eviction proceedings started. Get eviction forms, court documents, and all other information you'll need at the link below for free.